and Sharon. So um, I'm just going to mute the last few people here, or Brittany, you can go ahead and mute them and I'll just get started here. So welcome everybody to um, just what happened at convention, all of the new products that are going to be released in the next uh, month here. So actually the next few days, um, a few of them. Hey, I got it on your computer, Ed. Oh, and there is somebody that needs to be muted. So I will let Brittany take care of that. Thank you, Brittany. Okay, here. So welcome everyone. My name is Jeanette, in case you don't know me. Um, I'm most likely um, in your doTERRA support system here. So um, I hope you guys are all part of our Facebook team and our Facebook group because we do do giveaways. We'll have a giveaway coming up um, in December. Actually, we do a lot of giveaways in December. So make sure that you are in that Facebook group. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started and we're going to kind of go through some of the new products. So I will get started. And someone was just asking me about this oil. So it is one of my favorite oils. It's to be coveted. And they doTERRA just released this oil so we can actually keep buying it. I am literally so grateful that I don't have to try to buy bottles of this from other people. So um, birch oil helps actually um, strengthen your bones and helps with enamel. So, which was really, really great. Um, I actually just went to the dentist today and he's like, you have um, an issue with your enamel. And I said, I realized that. Um, anyway, I said, I've been out of this oil for a long time that's been helping. And I started getting all of these little holes in my enamel again. I had just run out um, probably six months ago. And um, anyway, this is the oil that helps with that. So birch oil is something that typically pure birch oil is really, really difficult to find. I've tried a lot of them out there and I've never had the same, um, I've never had the same thing happen where I don't have um, little holes go into my enamel, right? So when I use birch oil, I literally just put a tiny bit of it on my finger or on my toothbrush. I brush my teeth and then I rinse and spit. So um, you don't want to actually take birch oil internally so nope, you don't want to go take it internally. Uh, I saw that question, Kathleen, and I knew that was going to be a question. So the way that we know if we can take doTERRA's oils internally or not is on the back of the bottle. And if you have a bottle, grab it, grab some oils if you have them. I have oils all around me here. So on the back of birch oil, it says ingredients. And if it has ingredients on it, it is not meant to be taken internally. If it has supplement facts on it, you can take that internally. So this one happens to be digestin. So if it has supplement facts, again, write this down. Supplement facts, you can take it internally. Ingredients, you cannot. So again, wild orange oil, supplement facts, you can drink that, can take it internally. Birch, no. Um, but this little oil, um, I've had it on and off. And on and off over the last 10 years, and I've tried a lot of other birch oils, this is the one, this is the brand. And I would tell you if there was another brand, um, but I've tried a ton of them. Um, and they actually showed a test result at convention where they tested, I'm dyslexic and that goes to numbers, but I think it was over um, 30 something. 27. 27. How many? 37? 27. Got Two it. Seven. Two seven. Got it. Uh, um, I'm going to go back to you, Leanne, in a second here, because I just didn't know that, what you just texted or typed in there. So um, anyway, they went over 37 different oils and most of them were all fake or they were wintergreen or they were literally aspirin put in a bottle with some oil. So not the same thing. You're not going to get the same results um, that you can from birch oil that, that you're going to get from aspirin, right? It's not going to work. So aspirin, if you rub it on your teeth, it's not going to do what birch oil does and help um, protect the enamel. And this isn't just for enamel, this is for bones. So um, part of what I did when I, I tore my meniscus, my ACL and my MCL, and I had patella tendon surgery. Um, and so I actually um, used this on my knee surgery after as well. And it helped heal that up as well. So, and I had the, the MRI to show the before and after, so. Oh, it was 27 different bottles. I'm sorry. So 27 different bottles of birch oil that were out there. They doTERRA tested and they were basically all 
um, fake. So none of them were birch. They were wintergreen, aspirin. Um, some of them were just straight chemicals. So, uh, Leanne, you said something here. Um, Canadians call, we, we don't have supplements. So I'll just, I'll just, cut, yeah, ahead, I'll just touch yeah. on that. So in, if there's any Canadians on the call, when we order from the Canadian warehouse, our bottles do not have a supplement fact on it. You have to always go back to the doTERRA website, or I always just look in the book and, and then I remember, but you have to go back to doTERRA, the U S version of the website, because that's where you will find out if they can be taken internally or not, because they are not listed uh, on the bottles in Canada. Got it. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I didn't know that. So uh, let's see here. Brittany, are you around? Do you want to do the toothpaste? Hi. Yes. I will share about the toothpaste. Okay. So hold on. I, I tried to like put some little, there we go. There. Now we have a pretty image of the toothpaste. So um, a couple of things about the toothpaste. So if put in the chat, do you guys already use the on guard toothpaste? Do you, do you guys like that? Um, so Liam's like, yes, I love the on guard toothpaste. It's so great. I do. I love that it's fluoride free. So when you tell a child not to swallow it, it's okay if they do. And you don't have to call poison control, which is what is on every other toothpaste label that has fluoride. Sorry. Um, Yes, perfect. So a lot of the toothpaste out there are, they have a lot of chemicals in them. One of the chemicals that can be harmful is the agent in most toothpaste, if you're thinking like pressed and things like that, that make it foam. So, you know, when you're brushing your teeth and you're getting all that foamy action happening, that feels good. And we're like, ooh, now our teeth are getting really clean. But those chemicals are really harmful. In addition to um, things like fluoride that could be dangerous for people to swallow and things like that. So I really, I searched for a long time for a natural toothpaste. And so when doTERRA came out with one and I started using it, I was so excited and I love it. So it's worked really well. Um, it has xylitol in there, which helps also to whiten the teeth naturally rather than like harming the teeth. And coming from my, my dad's a dentist, um, xylitol is also uh, something that will help to kill the bacteria in your mouth that causes cavities. And so my dad would always say, just put some xylitol in your mouth and swish it around. Like, you know, so we had like these little xylitol granules that we would put in our mouth. And move that around in our mouth. So I don't have to do that anymore, thankfully, because it already is in the toothpaste. And I think that's another great benefit. Um, however, I've got little kiddos and they were like, the on guard's too spicy. Has anyone else experienced that? Or maybe you don't love the on guard like flavor in your mouth all the time. So that is where the super mint has come in. They're using the same toothpaste base and now they are putting in a, a, a different flavor. So super mint. I've actually only got to use it once because my children have hijacked it. And my son has been like, mom, when are you going to order me another one? When are you going to order me another one? I was like, it's coming. It's coming soon, but not yet because they're like fighting over the, the toothpaste. They want their own bottle. So my kids approve it. And I feel like they're pretty picky. So that's exciting. And anyway, that's what I have loved about the Super Mint. Anybody else that was at convention that got a kit, you guys can pop in there. How have you guys been liking it? Um, I was hearing from some people that they like to use the Super Mint in the morning to kind of really get rid of any kind of bad breath or stuff like that. So really fresh breath in the morning. And then in the evening, they like to use On Guard um, just to help kill any extra bacteria. Obviously, On Guard is great for immune support and gum health and things like that. So continuing on with that. The other thing I like about mint 
is mint is a natural um, appetite suppressant. And so I think just, it, and it's just having even the flavor in your mouth. Like if you were to put a drop of peppermint in your mouth, it would have that same effect. There's this fantastic study done with a couple hundred ladies and they just use a drop of peppermint and those people consume far less calories because they don't go after the sweets, just having that peppermint flavor kind of in their mouth. So Kathleen, do you have a question? I see a hand up. Yes, ma'am. You know, I'm a nurse, but I'm holistic. My question is, with that, will it affect the microbiome in our oral cavity? Will that, well, you know how it, it kills the bacteria that causes cavities? You know how we're, the microbiome and all that's immunity and it starts in the mouth and all that. How will that affect that at all? Yeah, like our good bacteria and things like yes, that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm not aware of that. I, I don't think so. I think it's one of those things because it's a more natural thing. It's one of those things where our body recognizes it and it's like, okay, we're keeping the good, but we're getting rid of the bad. Um, so I would have to do a more research to feel like definitively I could say, no, it won't do that. But other nurses or practitioners, I know we have a lot on here. If anyone else wants to weigh in on that, um, but I haven't yeah. heard we had some someone new pop on him. They weren't quite muted yet. So pop it in the chat if you guys know for sure. Um, um I can hi, I can chime in actually. So with the essential oils, they actually add immune boosting properties. So they're not gonna target the harmful path, they will target the harmful pathogens in our body, but they're going to actually support a healthy immune response. Uh, such as all of the fighting cells, like the macrophages and natural killer cells, all those things that our body wants to produce, um, similar to like a, the antibodies. It's our body's first line of defense. So this is going to actually improve your body's first line of defense, including in your oral health. Perfect. I love that. Thank you, Danielle. Do you know specifically on um, xylitol, if that also, I wasn't sure about that. I know it, it helps to kill the bacteria that causes cavities. Is Ed there? I don't see him there. So I'm okay. pretty sure that he was there. So Sharon, if you want to go get Ed and maybe ask him to chime in and that see if, if he knows. We're going to move on to the next one, though, until we can answer that question. So um, who do we have next on our going? Oops, you muted yourself, Jeanette. Sorry, Letitia, are you ready? Or Amber? I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Okay, let's go, Amber. <laughs> Since we were talking about microbiome anyway and all those things, it would be a good a good one. Uh, so I was going to talk about PB Restore. I don't know if anybody was playing about talking about PB PBSS Junior, but I'm going to be talking about our new probiotic. And uh, this, I'm just going to start right now by saying that we were told and we were uh, by our, uh, our um, what is uh, Dr. Lewis Alex DeBell, his title is? Os Oscar Thorpe. No, no, but uh, Alex DeBell was, what's his, Nutro, what's his, BP Global uh, Nutris. That evolves and innovation. Am I saying it right? Anyway, this we are basically when we are now the market leader when it comes to probiotics after the uh, this has just come out. Um, basically, uh, this is not just a pre and a probiotic, but there's also a postbiotic. So basically, what you're looking at is um, there are 30 bioactive components on our uh, PB. It's called PB Restore now. You guys probably knew it as PB Assist before. It's been completely um, renovated, um, or reformulated, I'm sorry. Uh, we basically have, there's 18 billion CFUs in it, uh, which are the live cells. There's 24 probiotic strains. Um, there are, there's a prebiotic fiber that's in there. Uh, there is four bacteriophage, bacteriophages that are in there as well, and a postbiotic strain. And uh, it's been glyphosate tested. Um, it's been clinically researched. Basically, the top two key reasons to take a good probiotic are one. Number one is to 
you know, the one that we all, all been told about is to kind of crowd throw, throw out some bad uh, microbes and basically for our general wealth, right? But with this, we can also help support our systemic health. So this is, uh, PB Restore is found to help not just with our, um, with our gut brain um, access, but also our metabolic uh, micronutrient uh, synthesis and absorption. Uh, I'm sorry, our micronutrient synthesis and absorption and our metabolic function. Um, people are finding uh, hormone. Um, there's a person, I don't know if you, I can do a screen share or not, but there was a woman that was talking and she was doing this for 30 days and her skin alone, which is something that you never think of, right? It was amazing. I don't know if I can do, is there a way to do a, just do a quick share screen on her photo? Cause it was just, if you guys weren't in there, that was just mind blowing. And I'm going to start right away. <laughs> can I do that or not? Nope. Okay. You, I gave you your co-host. So if you yeah, there we go. share, you can. So this was somebody who took it. This is, was her at the beginning. This was uh, 30 days later. And this alone, I don't know. I mean, if you are like in your forties or fifties and you're starting to get all the little saggy stuff, uh, this, this was along with something that was just amazing to me. Uh, they did go ahead and there was also a graphic that was, and I'll just show here, uh, that they, they compared it to all the different um, probiotics that are out there on the market. Um, and uh, yeah, we far, we far surpassed them. Um, it's even, I believe, uh, basically the things to, to, to understand if you're not already taking a probiotic is that your microbiome functions like this huge invisible organ, right? So um, the, one thing I found super fascinating is that our human body is made up of 70 trillion cells, but only half of them are quote unquote human, right? The rest is um, our microbiome. And that is basically uh, just this vast and diverse ecosystem. So we need to really make sure we're taking care of it so we can help with our metabolic health, we can help with our cardiovascular system, our oral health, our skin, our um, reproductive um, hormones, respiratory, all those things. Um, and everybody who uh, was kind of in the test phase of it said they have normal bowel movements, there's less bloating and gas, um, their skin, hormonal changes, um, you know, and their cycle changes are more regular. They're just calmer, better mood, better sleep, all the things. So one of the things, are, is anybody not familiar with our probiotics for QB Assist? I have not opened this yet because I was trying to finish up our QB Assist before I started it. But one thing about this is you already have QB Assist. You don't have to refrigerate QB Assist. The QB Restore, you will, only if you don't take it, the entire bottle within 30 days, then on here it will tell you to go ahead and refrigerate it. So I'm opening my bottle for the first time. So basically it's the same way that, you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before, but it's double encapsulated. So what you have is uh, basically the powder probiotic is on the inside and it's encapsulated kind of in this milky gel that has all the other good stuff um, to kind of help um, deliver it um, because the powder, once it fits our, our bodies, our bodies does not have to um, you know, absorb it, right? So um, trying to find a little note on that. I'm trying to remember what the, the gel is. I have it written here. Does anybody remember, okay, this is the, basically the probiotics are in the, the, uh, the powder and then everything else I talked about, the fiber, the the phages, the probiotic strain, all those stuff are in the gel itself. So those are, and the, the other thing is I always was told that you should take a probiotic first thing in the morning on empty stomach. I learned that it's completely false. You're supposed to be taking it with food. So uh, to help, help you in that capacity. Um, so basically the, the, the things that you just kind of want to remember um, is that, you know, you also want to make sure you're having, you know, our bodies are just basically getting sorted, right, with um, the environment and whatnot. So just making sure you're also taking, you know, a colorful whole food diet um, as well and trying to you know, eliminate synthetic kind of processed foods as well. It's because of ladies. Oh no, I can hear you. 
it looks like Kathleen's got another question. Go ahead and just unmute Kathleen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just, you know, it's okay to ask questions, correct? Yeah. Okay, correct. So the recommended, I have a couple questions. The recommended dosage, is it one a day or one with each meal? It's recommend, it? Yeah, it's recommended to do at least one a day. You're supposed to be doing it once a day. People who are, um, and I don't know whoever's going to be talking um, about our assist junior, it's it, you, it's nice to take two a day, but the second one would probably be, it'd be better if you're taking different strains, right? So even though uh, this is um, very high, you know, a high count, I can't remember, I think it's like three times or four times uh, more species are in this, uh, probiotic than we're in uh, PBSS or the, pro the previous ones. We also have our PBSS Junior that they reformulated. I don't want to do any spoiler alerts there, but that has a different completely species in that. So you can take, if you wanted to, you could take this in the morning and then your PBSS at night or vice versa, Junior, uh, what they have. I think they, they got rid of the word Junior, am I right? Because of... Yeah. Those, Amber, you can talk those. about the other one too. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not so ready for that one. I'm not as ready for that one, but they have okay. PBS Junior. It's yeah. Kate, I mean, who has it? Who likes PBS oh, Junior? Brittany, you want to talk about it? We'll okay. let Brittany talk about it since she did the okay. toothpaste as all. So yeah, that's okay. fine. Well, either, Thank you, Amber. Well, mm -hmm. Amber, you pitch in where where it's okay. needed, but um, I feel like with the PB Assist, um, so it's in a little packet form, and this makes it really easy if kids can't um swallow pills or things like that to just be able to open it up and and take it so you just take it you don't need water or anything like that um and I think the biggest thing that Amber was kind of covering too is that this has different strains and we can kind of well we have some graphics and things where we can break down the exact here's the strains and all of that kind of stuff but they have different strains in the PB Assist. Um, the Restore has um, higher doses, so definitely meant for adults. The Assist has a little bit lower doses just for if it's for kids and, and that kind of stuff. So um, they kind of went in the middle with the Assist rather than maybe higher doses. So for me, I know that gut health is something that I've struggled with and um, and it's so important. So I do both things just so I can have a lot of different strains and get the most that I can. Um, and then people have asked, you know, when they want to take it and that kind of stuff. Typically we take it on an empty stomach. So whether that's in the morning or in the evening, I don't think that there's been like the morning's the best or the evening's the best, but um, morning or evening, whenever you haven't, aren't gonna eat a bunch kind of thing. So that's my favorite thing about the PB Assist. My kids have liked both kinds. They like the PB Assist Junior and I brought home the PB Assist um, and they like that just as much. So you're still getting a lot of the same benefits. You're just getting more with their new formula. So. I want to just point out we someone was putting in the chat like how important it is for gut health. Amber pointed out how important it is for your skin health. And I want to just point out how important it is for mood and for sleep. They're all tied so closely together. Um, but a lot of people that have like depression or anxiety, their gut health is really, really suffering. And when you can get that back into balance again, it's like a lot of the things that were super duper stressful kind of calm down in their life and they're able to handle the stress better. So I just think the gut is where to start with so many of like the issues that we have come up. So Brittany, thank you for going over that. And I'd also just add to go back to what Danielle said earlier is you know, it's also affecting our immune our immune system significantly. So it does help our immune system. Evelyn had a question, uh, PB assist, wouldn't the stomach acids prevent it from getting into the gut? No, because it's double encapsulated, it's acid resistant and it's time released. So it actually gets into your lower intestines, which is where it's meant to be. So that's a really good question, Evelyn. It's one of the only kind of products on its market on the market. So yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about, that double encapsulated. I wasn't saying yep. it as well. I just put the, uh, the information in the comments, though, on that. Yeah, thank you, Amber. So um, up next, we have Letitia. So thank you, Letitia. And I am doing a uh, Facebook Live in our group, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to talk about this new oil. Um, it is the Forest Bathing Blend. I don't know if you guys can see it. They made it in a roller touch and we have it in a 15 ml bottle. So I took notes because my brain goes everywhere so it could kind of stay on track and then tell you guys everything about it. So are you ready to immerse yourself in the calm, fresh air of the forest, the refreshing sense of nature and outdoors? So it's a sense of calm and rejuvenation. So when they talked about it at convention, I was like, oh my gosh, they're speaking to me because I feel like I'm a busybody and I'm always outside or on the go. And the last few years, I personally, I feel like I'm always inside and I never want to go anywhere. So just smelling it, roll it on your wrist. It literally smells like they put up a picture of like the woods or going on a hike and the mountains and the waterfalls. Um, so if you haven't smelled it yet, it's amazing. I personally love it. Um, I think you will too. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, so let's see. So it's the outdoors. It's all things calming. Our bodies and our brains, they need more of being outside. And so they made this blend because not everyone we get like wrapped up in life and just stress and all the things. So going outside and just taking a moment to like breathe it in, or if you guys get anxiety or stress, and I didn't use compliance, um, sometimes you just have to go outside and get sunshine, um, take a breath of fresh air. So this oil, um, let me see. So it's all the things, it triggers the, um, sim the nervous system that comes over. So that like takes over all of our physical functions that involved in a natural environment. So the, basically they're saying this oil is great because it is helping us release all those stress and triggers and it's putting us outside in the outdoors. So this nature helps us relax. As you like go into nature, the oil pronouncing it, I couldn't say it at first, I made a funky name, but it's Shin Rin Yoku. It means the forest bathing. It comes from Japanese from the ag agriculture of the outside. It's the act of immersing oneself in the atmosphere of the forest, connecting its ascents. So how to forest bathe is one, you're gonna distinguish from your daily routine. So means take a step or a breath away. Not everyone can go outside into nature, but they're telling you to go outdoors, go into nature, find an area that's untouched to spend some time in. So honestly, for me, just going outside, sitting in a lounge chair in the sun by my pool, that for me is like taking the time out um, to relax and like let your brain unwind. So then step two, they're saying breathe deep and connect with nature, that it's a serious series of quiet um, activities and observing the wonder around you. So not everyone's like indoors, busy with everyday lives, work from home, mom life, all the things. So it's telling you to enjoy the wonder outside. And then three, transfer back to your daily life. The point of Shinrin Yoku is to have that connection and transition back to life, but be more calm and in nature. So how to use it, aromatically or topically, it does, if you read it, there's no supplemental facts. So you can add a few drops to your diffuser. You can roll it on your wrist, behind your neck, um, bottoms of your feet, put a drop in your hands and just cup and inhale it and take in all the wonder. So the primary benefits of the oil is um, positive effects of the outdoors. It creates a calming, grounding environment. It's refreshing and inspiring aroma. The contributor to an energizing um, regenerate, regenerating experience, and it's expired by health promoting forest bathing. So pick up your oil, add it to your diffuser, roll it on your wrist, breathe it in, 
and let stress and tension melt away as you transform your space into a peaceful oasis, immersing yourself into the serenity of nature. Can't wait for you guys to try this oil and it's available on October 1st. And that's all my goodness. Thank you, Letitia. I appreciate it. You're um, welcome. Yes, it can be added to the bath. So Kathleen's asking. Yeah, that's a great one to add it to. So yeah, thank you. Um, I love that. Thank you, Letitia, very much. And I'm glad you pronounced it because I still haven't gotten there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have to say it slow. Just say Shin and then Rin Yoku. But if you ask Amber or Sunny, I was butchering it and everyone was laughing because I couldn't say it for the life of me. Yeah, I just I just call it the forest bathing oil. So I'm gonna stay <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna stay there in the safe zone. So um up next we have Leanne from Canada. And I just can't wait to listen to you, Leanne. So thank you. Yay, it's my turn. And what a way to go after Shinrin Yoku because that I would have been diffusing at bedtime with the Serenity Blend. So this is awesome. So as Amber's in the slides so who is ready to talk about sleep anyone or is it just me <laughs> so when you wake up in the morning this is always the question how do you feel do you are you real wet uh real well rested or do you feel like a zombie what's your you know or tossing and turning all night so how you feel when you wake up has everything to do with how you are when you're not. So when you're asleep. So I was going through a whole pile of stuff on doTERRA's um, back off or in their, all their research documents, I guess, on the studies that they did. And one of their documents said that sleep deprivation can be fatal. So I don't want us to think that, oh my God, we're on the brink of death, but sleep pay or sleep plays a huge role even in your cell apoptosis so in order for your cells to do what they're supposed to do you need sleep to get that done so inadequate sleep leads to all kinds of health problems it messes up your brain power emotional stability and even our ability to get along with others so everything from your hormones your heart your metabolism so much more is all affected by your sleep. And at convention, they had a slide up there that was on the doTERRA sleep study findings. And I fell in love with this because one thing that people don't talk about is how people feel when they have better sleep is one of the markers that doTERRA was testing was people's C-reactive protein. If you're not familiar with that, it is the inflammation marker in your blood. And I'm extremely familiar with it because I watch it like a hawk because that's how I healed my Crohn's disease by watching my inflammation marker. So the lower the number of your CRP, the better health you've got overall. So all study participants in the doTERRA sleep study findings, their CRP or their C-reactive protein number was cut in half. That is huge. So sleep, everyone needs it. If you're not getting it, we've got some uh, things here for you. So everything from, like I was saying, there's all kinds of studies out there. Another study that doTERRA had um, was one dated 2018. It suggested that people that sleep less than seven hours a night uh, might have a higher BMI than people that get more than seven hours a night sleep. So that's just another thing. So sleep covers everything. So now let's get into the good stuff. Uh, step one of the system is... Um, someone just asked what BMI is just to me, um, body mass index. Body so mass index, sorry. Your, I didn't your, your body fat percentage is higher if you're not getting um, seven hours of sleep per night typically. Yeah. Sorry. Go on, Leanne. That's okay. So let's grab there. There has been no changes to the serenity oil blend, the restful blend, 
But just to go over it, the Serenity Restful Blend is lavender, cedarwood, coriander, ylang ylang, marjoram, Roman chamomile, vetiver, sandalwood, tonka bean, and vanilla. So this has great going. I've been diffusing it with Shinrin Yoku at bedtime. So if you've got it, pull it out and take a deep inhalation. They are recommending that you start diffusing this at bedtime half an hour before you go to bed. So this is a great one to start doing that. Next up, we have, pardon me, we have the reformulated Serenity uh, Restful Complex, the soft gel. Um, cannot take, someone saying I cannot take Valerian. So we'll touch on that. So Serenity now has it's been reformulated and it has tart cherry extract so tart cherry extract for those of you that aren't familiar uh we've used it for years from the health food store and we take a little shot of it before bedtime so what tart cherry does is it is helps your body produce natural melatonin so think of it as your sleep hormone it is going to help you get a better uh night's sleep and um, tart cherry extract is also, um, it, it just helps you do that. So if you haven't tried these yet before, try them now when, when they're available, I guess, if you didn't get the kit, but the first night I took these at convention, I take them all the time. So I wasn't sure what kind of a reaction I was going to get. I fell asleep right away. I love these and I will always be taking these. So that is step two. Also take these half an hour before you uh, you go to bed because you could have some kind of a, might not make you go sleep right away. So it'll help you get drowsy. So the new item on the block is the new Serenity and Valerian stick. So this is a beautiful stick. I'm so happy they came out with it. And Valerian root, if you're not familiar with it, you can research it. I refer to it as the Chuck Norris in the herb world. Like it is going to knock you out. Um, so how they taught us to do it at convention is you roll it on your wrists, rub them together Take your deep inhalation and then add another drop of serenity oil on top and rub it on. So last night, um, I even rubbed it on Daisy, my dog's back paws. Uh, she stayed in the same spot on the bed all night. She did not move whatsoever. So this we rub on the bottoms of our feet and around our neck and on our wrists just before we go to bed and we use the other products as well and voila so better sleep is in store for everyone so grab your new superhero thank you leanne i appreciate it very very much um up next we have lara um lara are you on here let's see yep. here here i am <laughs> okay perfect thank you yeah, um, and real quick before I talk about Blue Lotus, I should have mentioned this earlier, but back to Birch real quick. We've already had a pretty interesting experience, or my husband has, and he's not one to like say something's awesome if it's not kind of like totally completely awesome. <laughs> but he's had a really bad issue with his his elbow, like tennis elbow, and a, a strain in his forearm. He's been it's just been bothering him for months. Deep Blue helped some, Coke probably helped some, but he used it right away. At, he used the birch on it at, right away at convention. He, he literally within five minutes said, oh my gosh, this is the best my arm has felt in six months. And so oh, he's been awesome. using it every day. And then I was on another call with another group yesterday and a gal was saying that she has really bad neuropathy in her feet. And she was at convention and could barely walk because her feet were hurting so bad. They were kind of, you know, going numb and she couldn't really feel them. But when she could feel them, they hurt. And she was really struggling to get around. There's a lot of walking. And she used the birch on her feet. And she said it was just absolutely amazing. Within a few minutes, she wasn't completely pain-free, but she could walk and she was feeling, you know, she could, she could do the rest of the day. So just a little touch point about birch for, you know, pain, inflammation, you know, tendons, I guess, and, and tears and healing and things. So I'm um, doing amazing things already for my hubby. Okay. 
Thank you, Lara. I'm here to talk about Blue Lotus. And Blue Lotus is actually a very rare and exquisite flower. Um, it is, it's been used actually for three thousand, for thousands and thousands of years for like spiritual practices. You'll find it in writings of, um, Asian and Egyptian, um, history, but it's very difficult to find, um, very difficult to grow pure. And Emily Wright, who's one of our founders, uh, has been in love with it for a long, long time and was actually searching. She said for over 20 years to find a pure source, a source that was hundred percent pure and had basically almost given up um, when they finally connected with some um, some of our partners in China and over the course of several years what for I think four or five years they've finally been able to cultivate enough of this flower and will be able to continue that it's now a permanent product we've had it a couple times for like um, limited time offers I think there was a Precious Petals um, Mother's Day collection, and it was in there. And but it was a little. I think it was like a five ml, and everybody was like, you know, coveting it and hoarding it. Um, but now it's permanent product, and we are. It is one hundred percent exclusive to DoTerra, um, as as far as finding a pure, one hundred percent pure blue lotus flower. So. It has a lot of relaxing and calming and grounding um, effects. It's known as the oil of highest potential. And one of the things about this beautiful flower is that it opens up in the morning and as long as the sun is out, but it closes every night. And so it kind of has that um, uh, feeling of rebirth and um, begin a new beginning. Uh, Emily says she really likes to use it in the morning, especially like during meditation or um, devotional time or quiet time. Now, it also has some really amazing properties, especially for the skin. It is very anti-aging. Um, it enhances, enhances and promotes the production of squalene. Squalene, I'm not sure if you say it right, but squalene, I think is how they pronounce it which is a natural hydration for our skin. It creates a moisture barrier. And it actually um, stimulates the production of collagen, which of course we all could use more of that. <laughs> so it's really, really good for the skin. And I didn't know this until I did a little bit of research for tonight, but it's also really good for a clean and healthy scalp. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Calm, very calm, good for calming, for an, calming anxious feelings. It's regenerative. And you'll notice that it's in the touch form. So it is already blended with fractionated coconut oil. And this doesn't really dilute the effect of it whatsoever, but actually helps to absorb into the skin better and, and stay absorbed. So there's a thing called flash off that if we use a, an oil just straight, that there's a certain amount of evaporation that's going to happen. And that fractionated coconut oil actually helps it to absorb quickly into the skin and deeper into the tissue, which is actually better. So it's really, really good for skin care, for, for glowing, hydrated, moisturized skin, um, and calming and relaxing and grounding effects. So very good for um, anxious feelings and things like that. There you go. Thank you very, very much. Muted now. Okay, sorry. If you're somebody who has oftentimes gone to um, balance, this is a new one to be able to try that you're um, going to like for sure. So uh, let's see here. Oh, my camera's not on. That's why you can't see me. So there we go. Um, anyone else have any other questions um, before I end the call here? May I? This is Kathleen. I'm sorry. May I say something? Yeah, go ahead. About, yeah. So mm -hmm. about the valerium and um, so for Lee, mm -hmm. she's my mom. She's my mom, so I can talk about But um, valerium makes me hyper if I take it in a capsule type. But as we know, when you take capsules, there's binders mm -hmm. and things in them. So to me... I'm going to try this because number one, it's topical. I uh -huh. trust Dutera and I'm not worried about the binders and stuff in it by, by not being able to take. And I've tried different brands and I think it's because of the binders 
or what, or maybe it could be the type where they get their source of valerium. So I wouldn't, for those who may have had issues with it before, and like I said, it does the opposite to me if taken orally, I'm mm -hmm. going to try this because if it works, fantastic. It'll help with my anxiety issues. So thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. So thank you all for being on here. Um, it looks like that's all of the questions here. So I'm going to end it. So we're not taking up everyone's evenings here tonight, but um, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone for hopping on. And um, I think that's it for tonight. So we are going to do one more um, call on some of the products in two weeks. So if you have some friends that missed it, um, it will be the second Monday of October that we do that. So if you're someone that's like, oh my gosh, I really wish I could have shared this with my friend so-and-so, make sure that you invite them on um, the second week of October, the second Monday, same time. So 